adult men come in by themselves, sit on my lap, take a picture, and I look at them and I say, this is for mom, right? Yep, I've done it every year since I was five years old and I'm gonna keep doing it until I die. What a wonderful time of the year. Well, hello, ho, ho. <laughs> Santa Rick Irwin here from the Fraternal Order of Real Bearded Santas. And the fine folks at BuzzFeed have asked me to share a couple of stories with you guys from the throne. And one thing that leapt out at me immediately was the suit is the biggest investment that most Santas have to make. These boots cost $429. That was 10 years ago. They're charging $850 now. The belt is $400. The jacket over the chair is $900. My entire outfit costs more than $2,000. So, the biggest investment most Santas have is their outfit. I worked for two years in a really cheap pajama suit because I wasn't really working. I was just donating my time doing caroling neighborhoods, things like that. But when I decided to do it for real, I had my mother-in-law make a suit for me and she's a professional seamstress. She did a pretty good job. I worked in that suit for the next five years and made enough money to go up to Hollywood. I made the Mecca to Adele's and bellied up to the bar and said, give me your finest and waited my eight weeks and went back up there and picked it up and put it on for my first big gig. It's a retirement gig for uh, something by the cliffs so where, the, where the millionaires put their old people to retire. And I was in there for three hours, worked every room in the place, having a really good time. The last room they took me into, there was a big cocktail party going on. I had my assistant with me that night. She was standing right behind me. Uh, we were making our way through the crowd and I was, you know, just high-fiving and glad-handing everybody. And I turned around, I heard someone say, Santa, and I turned around and this woman <laughs> had just refilled her glass of red wine and she came in for a hug and I could tell immediately that it wasn't her first glass either. That whole glass of red wine went right down my suit and I was crazy. <laughs> I immediately, my assistant and I went to the bathroom and we spent the next half hour trying to make sure that that red wine didn't ruin that suit. That was probably one of the harshest nights I've had in a long time. Hi, my name's Tom Giddings. I'm a Real Bearded Santa, president of the Inland Empire Fraternal Order of Real Bearded Santas. I'm here to tell you some stories about my experience as a mall Santa. I've had children come in, stand in line for an hour, hour and a half, Hi Santa, hi Santa, from all, all in the line, all excited to come see me and everything. They'll get up to the front of the line, they'll say, hi Santa, look at my dress, look at my pants, look at my boots, all everything. And as soon as it's their turn, they'll get all excited, they'll come running, they'll run over, they'll run over, and as soon as they get right at my feet, they get that horrified look in their face, they just stop, they get that scream and they're going, and they turn around and they just run right back to mom and dad, and it's all over at that point. They don't want anything to do with me. Everybody tries to get them to sit on my lap. Nothing, candy, cookies, nothing works for them. They just think, oh my gosh, he's finally came to life and I don't know what to do with myself now. Uh, long before I became a Santa, my wife and I, uh, we owned a production company, Rick and Vic Productions, and I decided that I was going to be the singing Santa. And that's my website, that's my persona. My wife and I are known as Singing Santa and Diva Claus. That's just one G in Singing Santa, by the way. So we write and produce an original song and we per perform it for our clients exclusively. And then every year we reveal it at our annual reunion. In 2013, I was speaking at a uh, Rotary Club and I had a little accident and I actually ruptured my Achilles on my left foot. And like an idiot, I tried to walk it off for the next couple of days and wound up completely tearing the, um, the Achilles. So when I finally went to the doctor, they said, you're gonna need surgery. We gotta do it right away. You're gonna be in a cast. We're scheduling the surgery for November 6th. You're gonna be in a cast for six weeks. Do the math. Santa began his Christmas season that year in a cast on his left leg, and 
he got one of the orthopedic surgeons to get one of the guys in there to make a candy cane out of it. And for a minute, we thought that my season might be over. So I started calling some of my clients and uh, we told them about it. And immediately they were like, we don't care if you have to bring him in here on a gurney. We want singing Santa. So we talked about it a little bit and decided it might be a, sing a, a teaching moment. So I decided that since my clients expected a new song that year anyway, and since I had a perfect opportunity to reveal this to the kids as Santa can get an owie too. I decided to, the song that year, my 2013 Singing Santa song was Santa Got Run Over by a Reindeer. My clients now expect me to come up with a new song every year. And although they're almost always parody, so I don't have to write the music as well, they're still so well received and I love it very much. I had a child, I, did, I was doing a photo shoot a couple of days ago I had a child on my lap, screaming and hollering with his mom was trying to give him candy and cookies. And every time she would offer him something, in, in the middle of a screaming cry, it was, no, thank you. And then right back to screaming and crying, dad said, tell Santa, ho, 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 ho. And I went, ho, ho, ho. And his eyes got about that big around. He looked up at me, stopped crying at that point. And from then on out, we were best friends, talking, playing, eating cookies and milk. We just had a great time. Well, hopefully you've enjoyed all my stories. Um, I wish I had more to tell you and more time to tell them to you. I hope you all have a great, great Christmas. I have a great Christmas every year, almost every day of the year, because looking like Santa, you put joy on, on people's faces every day. Keep Santa in your heart, no matter how old you are. Thank you, and have a Merry Christmas. Oh, oh, oh.